Okay, so I welcome you to Transcended Institute. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about balancing chemical equations using ion electron method in both acidic and basic media. So I have uh, these equations with me. First one is okay. So I've ignored the the steps but you can indicate them as you are given in a question so when you're given such a, an equation then you ask to balance using ion electron method or sometimes the question can just be balance the chemical equation below in acidic media they can also say basic media okay so we'll look at all those uh, different uh, forms of a question so how do we get to answer such a question so the first step is for you to identify the half reactions or split the redox react or split the given reaction into half reactions okay so in this case you're able to see that this one is related to that one and this one is related to that one so therefore our first half reaction is going to be i'll start with that one i negative which is iodine giving us i2 okay so we need to balance this half reaction how many do we have on the right hand side? There are two. Here we have one, so we added two there. That's the way you balance. But generalized, we're going to understand it better as we look at this one. Okay. So the first step when you're balancing using ion electron method is first of all, balance atoms. Okay. Balance atoms. Okay. So in a case where you have, um, we we'll understand that in the, which we've done in this case, we balance the atoms. Okay. So balance the atoms. Then the second part is to balance uh, oxygen. Balance oxygen. You balance oxygen by adding water. You understand that in the next uh, half reaction. Then the third step is to balance the hydrogen. Balance hydrogen by adding what? You add hydrogen ions. That's how you balance hydrogen. The fourth step is to balance to balance charges okay by identifying how many electrons were lost and gained in both half reactions okay so these are the steps so let's try to move to the second half reaction which is uh okay giving us a chloride there so the first step is to balance the atoms here we have chloride there you have chloride you don't have oxygen so you balance oxygen by adding what water so how many oxygen atoms do you have on the left there are three so we'll add three water molecules to the right hand side so notice that as we introduce uh, the water molecules there we don't have hydrogen on the left part so we should therefore add what add we balance hydrogen by adding what hydrogen ions how many are they there are six three by two is six so six hydrogen ions on the left hand side so we've balanced the atoms we've balanced oxygen we've also balanced hydrogen we move to the charges now okay so i can remove the steps so don't master your steps just understand the steps okay so these are our, these are the two half reactions that we have. Let's balance the charge. I'll start with the first one. When you look at the first half reaction, look at the charge. The charge here is negative. And how many are they? They are two. So the charge is negative two. They have a charge. Whenever it, there is nothing indicated on top, the charge is a zero. So this is from negative two to zero is an increase. So we can classify this one to be an oxidation reaction. Okay. The second one, we have a, neg a negative one there. We have six positives, so plus six. Here there is negative. There there is no charge. So the net, neg the net charge on the left hand side is therefore positive five. Negative one plus six is negative is positive five. There the net charge is negative one. So we are moving from five to negative one, which is a reduction. Okay. So I want you to understand that when you talk about oxidation reaction, 
we add electrons on the right hand side indicating that the electrons were lost okay and we used oil and lead to remember that okay so oxidation is loss of electrons reduction is gain of electrons so how many electrons we have lost you look at what you have it's negative two so what can you add there to give you zero it's two so two electrons were lost here we are moving from five to negative one what can we add to give us negative one we can add negative four so therefore four electrons were four electrons were what were gained okay actually wait a minute from five you have five plus x five plus x okay so five plus six is supposed to give us negative one x is equal to negative six so actually six electrons pardon me there so six so six electrons were gained we can now show that six electrons were gained which leads to reduction so if you had to combine negative one plus six minus six this is going to give you negative one which will be equal to the charge on the right hand side okay that's the idea here the charge is negative two the charge is negative two there the charge is zero where it's negative two so they are equal as well that's the idea so we've balanced the charges but we need to make sure that the number of electrons being lost and gained are supposed to be equal in the two half reactions so if you look at the first half reaction two electrons were were lost six electrons were gained so where were they coming from we need to balance the number of electrons and and how do we get to balance that we balance by multiplying by what by a three the first half reaction so if multiply by three we are going to have the same number of electrons so three by two will give us a six i'll put a six there here it will be three here it will be a six as well we've balanced the first half reaction with in terms of a number of electrons okay so this is what we have this is our first and our second half reaction so we can now write the overall equation okay so i will have the first question itself and write it on top there like the final equation there so we're going to start with our oxidation reaction this one so we have six iodine ions we add now the reactants on the other half reaction plus chloride o3 negative plus six hydrogen ions so the number of electrons are going to cancel out because they are appearing on both the reactants and the, the product side so there equally we'll start with the iodine then we add the chloride then three water molecules okay so that's what we have as our overall chemical equation balanced chemical equation in acidic media so the presence of hydrogen ions indicates that it's acidic okay so the presence of hydrogen ions indicate acidic so therefore we've balanced in acidic media so now when they ask you to balance in basic media we don't want to see the hydrogen ions there because they indicate acidic so we want to see hydroxide ions so what do we do we need to add an equal number of hydroxide ions to the hydrogen ions so we'll add six hydroxide ions on both sides of the equation okay so we are going to have so this is going to give us six water molecules we can show that for example if you have hydrogen ion and an hydroxide ion this gives you what water so if you have six hydrogen ions with six hydroxide ions you expect to have six water molecules the other side will have three i2 plus chloride negative plus three water molecules and six hydroxide ions so the idea is when you're coming up with an, a full equation you don't want to show something as a reactant as well as a product so we've seen that water is common on both ends and there we have three here we have six so we can cancel out 
So if we cancel three there, you remain with the one here, you remain with what? You remain with uh, three water molecules. Okay. So the overall chemical equation is going to be I'll move with the water there, three water molecules there. Then I'll move the hydroxide ions there, the six hydroxide ions. So that is how you balance using ion electron method. Okay? Alright. So just one more. One more example. Okay, so you have uh, this chemical equation you have to balance. Okay. So the idea of the first step again is to balance what? Balance or come up with the half reactions. Okay. So what is the first half reaction? We just have one reactant. So this one is going to act as both. It's going to be present in both half reactions. So the first one is going to be to be equated to this one. The other half reaction is going to be equated to that part. So we have manganese O4 2 minus being equated to manganese O4 negative. So I've just equated this one to this one and this one to the earth one again. So these are the two half reactions that we have. And for us to identify which one is oxidation and reduction, we can look at the charge for manganese. So in the first half reaction, we don't know the charge. So we add, but we know that the charge of oxygen is always negative 2. And how many are they? They are 4. So I'll multiply 4 by the charge of what? Oxygen. That negative 2 you are seeing on top here is the overall charge for the whole compound. So 4 by negative 2 is going to give us negative 8. So we have x minus 8. When 8 goes other side to become positive, negative 2 plus 8 which will give us what? 6. So here the charge for the manganese is 6. Equally, if you notice, they are the same. So even here it's 6. Okay. We try to move the parts where they are different now. Here we have two oxygen molecules. So here the charge, we don't know. But we know that oxygen is negative 2 and there are 2. The overall charge of the compound is 0. So therefore, x is going to be equal to what? To positive 4. Okay. You move to the other half reaction, here it's, you have, um, you don't know, there it's 4 by negative 2 equal to negative 1. So you have x minus 8 equal to negative 1. Therefore, the charge is going to be x is equal to positive what? Positive 7. Okay, so you are clearly able to see now which one is oxidation and which one is reduction. So this one is a reduction, this one is oxidation because it is an increase in oxidation number. So now, this tells you that, so you are moving from 6 to 7. What does that mean? That means that there was, it is oxidation, meaning that, and since it's a difference of 1, there was a loss of an electron, which indicates oxidation. The first half reaction, moving from 6 to 4, there's a difference of 2. Since it's a reduction, there was gain of electrons. So how many electrons are we going to add? We are going to add 2 electrons. Because it's a difference of 2. And it's a reduction. Okay. So we've come up there. We've identified. So the other step is to balance the number of electrons being lost and being gained. So if you look at the second half reaction, an electron was being lost. So we want to make sure they are balanced. Here there are two, here there is one. So we multiply the second half reaction by two. So it will be two, two, and two. We've balanced the number of what? 
the number of electrons. Okay. So after balancing the number of electrons, we can now combine the two F reactions. So remember, these are going to cancel out. Okay. So notice that these are identical. <laughs> okay. So even before that, uh, yeah, even before that, this one, they are balanced, of course. Here is manganese 1. It's, ba it's balanced. It's balanced. Now, this one is not balanced. How is, not, how is it not balanced? Look at the I oxygen atoms. Here there are 4. There there are 2. So what do we do? We balance oxygen atoms by adding water molecules. How many are we going to add? Since there are 4, there is 2. So we we'll add 2 more this side. So 2 water molecules are added there. Okay. So there was a step that was omitted. So you can't move, can't combine the two without balancing the atoms. So here there are four. There there are now also four oxygen atoms. Now here we don't have hydrogen atoms. And how many are they that side? There are four. So we introduce the hydrogen atoms to the left hand side. So we've balanced the atoms now. Remember there are two. Okay, we've balanced now the number of what? We've balanced the number of atoms. Okay. So let's try to revisit again the issue of uh, electrons. So here it's a charge of 4 minus 2, which is going to still be 2, this side. There it's 0. So equally, 2 electrons were being what? Were being gained, as indicated earlier. Okay. So we can cancel out the number of electrons. Now to combine, so we have, we'll start with oxidation, this one. So if you look at this one and that one, they are the same. So 2 plus 1 will be 3 manganese O4, 2 minus, plus 4 hydrogen atoms, giving us this one, 2 manganese O4 negative, plus manganese O2, plus 2 water what? molecules. Okay, so from there you've balanced the chemical equation under acidic media because of the presence of um, the hydrogen ions. So equally, if you want to balance in basic or alkali media, you just add an equivalent number of hydroxide ions on both sides. So this side, you are going to have four water molecules. There you have um, four hydroxide ions in basic media. Forming four water molecules here, you cancel two by that two there. Then you'll be able to, to finish it up. So I just hope this video has given you an idea on how to go about balancing chemical equations using the ion-electron method in both acidic media and basic media. So to just end it up, remember that the presence of the hydrogen ions indicate acidic. The presence of hydroxide ions indicate what? Basic media. So always the steps are the same. For basic media, you just add one more step by adding hydroxide ions. So, thank you very much for watching.